Hi everyone, welcome back. Would you like to go exploring again with me today? I wanted to show you a country that tricked me. Do you remember yesterday where we looked at a country called Mexico? Now, the Mexican flag had red over here, white in the middle, and green over this side. And in the middle was it an emblem or a picture. Well, this next flag really confused me. I've got a flag here. It's green on this side, white in the middle, and red over that side. But there's no emblem in the middle. You know what flag this is? This is the Italian flag. We are going to Italy today. So let's use our imaginations again by closing our eyes and hopping onto the plane and three, two, one, take off. We're flying through the air now. And if you have a look out the window, you will see oh, a little country. It's almost like an island. It's in the middle of the ocean here. This is all water. And then this bit going all the way down and then it connects to some other countries up here. We're just looking at the white section. This is Italy. Now Italy has some small islands off it, but not as many as Japan. Japan had hundreds of islands. Italy just has this section, which is connected to the land. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. I can count six little islands that make up Italy. Now, we've already had a look at the Italian flag. It's green, white, red, with no emblem or picture in the middle. Don't get it confused with the Mexican flag. Now, if we hop off out of our plane and we were to come up to someone, I, once again, we couldn't say hello because they wouldn't know what we were talking about. They don't speak our language. They speak Italian. So if we wanted to say hello, we need to say ciao. Hello. Ciao. Are we ready? Three, two, one. Ciao. Ciao. Ciao, everyone. Hello. How are you? Now, a long time ago in Italy, there, are, there were some people who built some really incredible buildings. There's this one here. This building here is called the Colosseum. Now it's very, very old and no one lives there. They're looking after this, a little bit like a museum looks after uh, fossils or dinosaur bones or paintings from a long, long time ago. The Italian people look after the Colosseum. How incredible was that? Now, a long, long time ago, there weren't places like the movie theaters where you could watch movies. So instead, people used to go inside this Colosseum they would sit all around and in the middle, someone would perform a show or a play or they'll pretend to do something so everyone else can watch. That's what they did for entertainment back then. There's another really interesting building in Italy. Now have a look at that building. What you'll see is it's actually not straight. It's got a little bit of a lean onto it, but it's not falling over. And it's not wobbly. It's actually slowly, slowly leaning, but so slower than a snail, slower than the slowest animal on earth. This is called the Leaning Tower of Pisa. Not pizza, Pisa. How incredible is that? There's not many buildings around that are actually built on a lean. How interesting. Now, if you were starting to feel a little bit hungry in Italy, I know two foods that you are definitely going to want to try. Our first one is spaghetti. The Italians make excellent spaghetti. And another dish that they make that tastes really yummy is pizza. Now, what makes pizza such a good dinner is you can put all of your favorite vegetables and all of your favorite sauces 
and all of your favourite toppings like herbs and spices. It is the best food for you to make at home because you can make it however you like. It's actually a little bit like pasta. Whenever you cook pasta, the noodles, they always taste so plain. So you can put whatever sauce you want on. A lot of people like tomato sauce and some people like cheesy sauces. I can see the person who had this lunch or dinner chose a tomato sauce with cheese. They put them both together. How awesome is that? So let's just go back and remember all the things that we learned. We had our Italian flag, which are made up of the colours green, white and red. We have the map of Italy, which has a part connected to the continent that goes down into the sea. And we've got some islands. One, two, three, four, five, and six. I can count six, but there might even be more. I'm not too sure. Oh, I think there is. If you have a close look, you can see that there's actually lots of little islands here. One, two, three, four, goodness, goodness. It's hard to count that many. We also learned that to say hello, you need to say ciao, ciao. And we also looked at the Colosseum, which was the old building that the Romans used to use to use some entertainment. They might watch a play or watch something spectacular. And the Italians now are looking after the building a little bit like museums look after things that are really old. And we also have the Leaning Tower of Pisa, which isn't standing straight, but is actually slowly leaning over. I hope it doesn't fall. We also learned two yummy Italian foods. We had pasta and we had pizza. Both of those starting with P. P, P, pizza. P, P, pasta. Oof, all those things that we learned. Well, it's starting to get a little bit late here. I'm checking my watch now. We better fly back to Australia. Let's hop on the plane. And before we take off, we need to say goodbye. But remember, they speak Italian, not English. So to say goodbye, we need to say adio. Goodbye. Adio. Are we ready? Three. Two, one, adio. Adios, everybody. Are we ready? Three, two, one, take off. We're flying our plane, flying our plane back to Australia and landing. Ah, well, I can't wait to see what our next adventure is going to be. I wonder what sort of country I'll pick next time. You'll have to wait and see. Until next time. Goodbye, everybody, or as the Italians would say, adios.